Hi everybody, Pastor Chuck here. A few minutes late. I have some people that are standing outside here with me. Say hi. Hi. <laughs> there you go. So this is my live stream thing that I was supposed to put up a few minutes ago. Uh, this is about our service and stuff today. As you see, a few of us are getting in a vehicle. We're gonna go do something special in connecting with our community uniquely and oddly, if you will. We're gonna go pray for people at churches and then we're gonna give them notes, but they're not gonna know it until later. Not because we're good, but because we're part of the family of God together. I wanted to give you some scripture today because this is a day of service. We are worshiping in service. We're already learning other things that we're going to do different next time. Um, but this is, that's for next time. This is for today. There's a group of people inside this building. We're at Newcastle Christian Academy. They're praying. They're praying in unique ways. And some of the students and the teachers will find some of that stuff out. They're praying and writing cards to shut-ins. They're praying right now over, um, Operation Christmas Child boxes that are being packed in this building. We just had a time of prayer. It's part of the reason I'm late getting on here is there was a time of prayer we had from somebody from our fellowship that hasn't been with us for a while and came in. He said, I'm really looking for a church service today. I really need some help. And we ended up praying over him. And at the end of it, he said, this isn't what I expected, but this is what I needed today. God is on the move. If we serve him God, Jesus, the, through the power of the Holy Spirit, and we serve one another, things happen that we don't expect. It's not on our agenda. It's not what normally happens, but it's the right thing to do. So today, as there are people in here, as I said, praying in the school and over cards that are being written that are going to be sent out to people and for Operation Christmas Child, and there's a crew out uh, doing some cutting of trees and trimming of trees, there's things that need to happen in serving those that don't know Christ and those that do know Christ in and out of the body. The mission statement of our fellowship is loving God, building the body, serving the community. And that's what we're trying to do today. The body of Christ, we're going to build, we're going to grow together as we serve together and we do things together. Mark 10 45 is a verse that I want to give you today. Mark 10, 45 simply says, For the Son of Man did not come to be served, but to serve, and to give his life as a ransom for many. Ladies and gentlemen, we are supposed to follow the example of Christ. Our lives aren't going to be given as a ransom as far as we can't redeem people of their eternal souls. Only Jesus can do that. Please don't hear what I'm not saying. But what I am saying is we can give our lives up. We can sacrifice some of our time, of our talent, and of our resources, which is all from God to begin with. And we can help one another. And if we do it in Jesus' name and we do it in Jesus' guidance, God gets the glory and we help one another. And if we help the community, and we engage the community, and we love on the community, isn't that truly what we're supposed to do? Yes. That's what it meant that Jesus came to serve, not just to be served. Now, we need to receive if somebody loves us and gives us some service, but we also have to give, and we have to give, and we have to give. It's not a choice of, gee, do I want to give today? The choice is, God, how are you going to have me give today? Some people won't receive no matter how much we offer. And maybe we've wronged somebody. And we offer an apology. We cannot dictate whether they receive that or not. But we are still supposed to give it. We're supposed to serve in Jesus' name. So today, if you're watching us online and you're going, wait, this isn't a normal worship service. Where's all this stuff? Put on a little bit of great worship music. Call a friend. Encourage them. Write them a note. Write the cards that we're writing here. Grab yourself a piece of paper. And if you don't have the postage to do it, let us know. And I will bring the postage or send it to you. We need to be engaging our community for Jesus which is the body of Christ encouraging one another and others as we lift the name of Jesus high. 
So I'm gonna get in this van and get on out of here. But you watching online, go visit a neighbor. Go say something to them. And don't just say, hey, how's the weather today? I mean, that can be a conversation starter. But get deep. Hey, how can I pray for you today? How can I do something that will help you? If you say, how can I serve you? They might not know. But if you say, hey, is there something you need done? Do you need your socks folded from the laundry? And they'll go, what? Well, you know what? I just want to serve you because Jesus serves and he sent me that example. So I encourage you and challenge you, get out and serve because that's what we're doing as the body of Christ in new creation today. Got it? God bless you. Love y'all. Have a wonderful day. Let me pray as we go. Father, I, I ask that in this time as we serve in worship, as we worship in service this morning when people don't expect the body of Christ to be outside the doors, and we are, and those online, Father, I pray that they would receive the goodness of God in their hearts, and that they share that goodness with others. Lord, I glorify you because you are worthy of all praise and glory. Be with us today in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Have a great day. Bye.